I grew up with a lot of um, feeling not enough, not enoughness. Desiree Escalante Ruiz was born and raised in Brossard, Quebec, south of Montreal, but her roots are from the Philippines. After a difficult divorce, Desiree reinvented herself as a holistic life and business mentor and human design coach. She focuses on decolonizing how she raises her child. As a second generation Filipina, I was told, Oh, but your last name is Spanish. Okay, so then I would go to Spain, but I'm not Spanish. And then I would go to the Philippines. I don't speak Tagalog. I don't speak the language. I'm not Filipino enough. Immigrants are on survival, right? Um, so they come here, they're on. They're in survival mode. My parents provided so well for my, my sister and I and for sent a lot of you know support back, back home, but it was survival. So it's keep your head down, keep going. I want it to be different for my daughter. I um, was in Filipino school for a few years, uh, but growing up in the South Shore, uh, Filipino schools were mainly in Cotonej. So the commute um, was, was challenging. And as a second generation uh, Filipina, I wanted to be, I wanted to integrate and do what the other kids were doing. So I didn't necessarily enjoy going to Filipino schools on the weekend. So my parents pulled me out and I actually never learned the language. And there's actually a lot of second generation Filipinos living in Montreal. I'll speak for my circle of friends that actually don't speak the language. And, and now in my 40s, I would like to learn. Uh, but at the time, it just, it didn't happen. And you picked up you picked up uh, certain words and just, I didn't speak Tagalog. Desiree is changing the narrative by how she's raising her daughter. I call myself a decolonizing mama because the decolonizing mama is again, giving her space or reminding her that she's enough. She doesn't have to be Catholic. She could be whatever pronoun she wants. She could be, you know, she's a mixed race kid. She could feel more um, connected to her European roots one day and her Filipino roots. I want her to feel enough in all aspects. And that's why it's important for me because it took me decades to feel enough and ground in my identity and in myself. There are some important words that resonated with Desiree. So there's a, a quote from a famous uh, political activist and writer from the Philippines. His name is Jose, Jose Rizal. And he says, no history, so N-O, no self, or no and K-N-O-W, no history, no self. Uh, and that is just a quote that I've, you know, always have in the back of my mind. In Montreal, Faria Nakvi Mohamed, City News.